Hi, my name is Courtney and I'm the clogging instructor here at udance.com. Before we start learning how to clog, let me give you a brief history of clogging. In the late 18th century, during the Industrial Revolution in England, cotton mills were kept damp to help the cotton spinning process. Workers would wear wooden shoes or clogs to keep their feet from getting wet. Workers started tapping rhythms with their shoes to the beat of the mills to keep their toes warm. It also helped to relieve boredom. On breaks, they would have competitions to see who had the best rhythm. It would later be thought of as an early form of clogging. Fast forward 300 years to today. Clogging is typically not done with wooden shoes anymore, but with leather shoes that have metal tabs on the bottom. Now, clogging dances are done to both traditional music and modern music. While some dances are a cappella, meaning without music, only the sounds of your shoes. Over the past several years, clogging has gained in popularity. This is due to the fact that clogging has become a melting pot of several different styles of dance, such as tap, Irish, and even hip hop. Here at udance.com, you'll learn a large array of steps and clogging styles. The next few videos will further explain what clogging shoes are and where you can get a pair, how to count a basic rhythm of music, and some do's and don'ts of dancing at udance.com. I'm so excited to get started. Let's go.